welcome to Mountain View Vineyard Wine, Beer, and Spirits, where all three are locally crafted right here on the vineyard. We can't wait to share the experience and the views. Mountain View Vineyard started after a trip to the Finger Lakes back in 2003. My husband got inspired. We started with four acres of vines that we planted on the original property to now on this property. This is a hundred acre farm and we've planted 12 more acres here. So we're Mountain View Vineyard, Winery, Brewery and Distillery. So we're the only ones in the region who produce all three product lines. We have a beautiful location here at 2332 Walters Road. This is where our vineyard also is. And then we have a new wine bar and tap room on Crystal Street in East Stroudsburg at 95 Crystal Street. I'm sitting in the vineyard here with Linda Rice. Yes. Linda, this Hi, Jackie. Is, hello. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful here. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And the, of course, the best part of the whole place is, is the great product that you produce here. Mm -hmm. um, it's fantastic, and everything's produced right on site. Yes. yes. So we're going to get started because this is exactly what happens when you come here, right? You can mm -hmm. order the flights and taste all the different things that you have to offer. So why don't we start with this right here? Okay, so uh, what we have here is our red raspberry vodka. Mm -hmm. So our vodka, it, we start as a base of plain vodka, and then we add to it red raspberry, blueberry, peach, or pear, and it's actually the fresh fruit that's been pressed into juice form, and there's nothing artificial added to it. Here we have what's called Randy's Brandy, and my husband's name is Randy. <laughs> then we have fan favorite. This is apple pie moonshine. Mm -hmm. That starts, again, as a base of vodka that we make, and then my husband cooks up his own secret recipe for the apple pie shine. He won't tell me. He says if he told me, he'd have to kill me. But <laughs> you know how that goes, but not for yes. real. And then the final one that I have here for our um, distilled spirits is Red Rapture. And Red Rapture is a ruby port. There's two styles of port. One is oak aged, that's called a tawny port. And one is aged in stainless steel, which is considered a ruby port. Not everyone knows right. what a port is. A port is actually wine that is fortified with brandy or it has brandy blended into it. I think I'm gonna try this. This That's the brandy. brandy. Oh, that's very good. It's very smooth, very smooth. Smooth, and this one is probably our longest age so far, a six year old brandy. So um, I guess we can check the wines out now. Okay, so the wines, I believe we produce about 13 what are called still wines, and then we produce three sparkling wines. And so we're gonna start here. This one, first one is called Petite Pearl. It's a dry red wine, mm -hmm. and it is made from grapes that we grow right, right here on this property. We only grow hybrid grapes. Instead of Vitis vinifera grapes, Vitis vinifera are the Merlots, the Cabernets, mm -hmm. the Chardonnays. So Petite Pearl is a dry red. Mm -hmm. This one is a sparkling wine. This sparkling wine is called the Crescent and that is actually the name of the grape. The Crescent has some notes of green apple and apricot, Ooh. super yummy. It's actually part of a blend for a beer that we make too called Randy's Shandy. This wine here is called First Blush, and depending on the year, sometimes it's a little pinker than other years. This one is made from the Catawba grape. We liken it to uh, White Zinfandel. Yes. And then this is called Bliss, the last one here on the tray. Bliss is our driest white, and it is made from the Vidal Blanc grape. This one is in between a lightly oaked Chardonnay and a Sauvignon Blanc. Let's check out the beer. Okay, so the four that I have here for you to try. This first one is called Things We Don't Say. And this is a new beer that we released recently, and it is um, in conjunction with other breweries across the nation to support mental health awareness. This one here is called Linda's Amber Lager, named after me. And that is similar, only better, of course, than Yingling's Amber Lager. Okay. I say it's better because it's mine. Of course. of course. This one here is called Galaxy and Beyond, and that is considered a double IPA. And then this one is called Shell of a Stout. <laughs> So this one is a stout that has some chocolate notes to it, some caramel notes to it, a little bit of coconut. Ooh. It's really, really, really good. That's very good. Oh, good. I'm glad I do, you like it. I know you're not much I'm of a beer drinker. I'm not a big beer drinker, but I do taste a little coconut. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like. I like. 
Thank you so much for having us today. Why don't you tell everybody where you're located and anything else you want to share? Okay. The main vineyard is located at 2332 Walters Road, 20 minutes from our new location on Crystal Street, our Mountain View Wine Bar and Tap Room. We have a full kitchen at both locations. On the weekends, we do ask that you make reservations if you're going to come on, especially on a Saturday, because we are very busy because of the amount of outside space we yes. have. Yes. But it's so beautiful. Ugh. Folks, if they want to, they can bring their own lawn chair. Otherwise, we have a lot of seating with umbrellas. So on Father's Day, we're hosting a fundraiser for an organization called Angels and Dragonflies. And it's an organization that supports folks who foster children. So we're going to have a food truck festival here. Ooh, yes, and hopefully I think we're gonna have crafters. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you again for having us You're and so welcome. happy Father's Day to your family. Thank you. When we come back, we head to Mountain View's Wine Bar and Tap Room to see what's on the menu.